Alzheimer's disease was described for the first time in 1907 by the German psychiatrist Alois Alzheimer in performing a histopathologic study of the brain of his patient, August D., suffering from dementia. He brought to light the presence of two types of lesions in the brain, senile plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. He reached the conclusion of a distinct disease of the cerebral cortex. A hundred years later, thanks to current scientific techniques, research has made a great leap in understanding of the disease. We know that the brain is made up of neurons and these are interconnected to form a vast network. These connections known as synapses enable the transmission of information from one neuron to another. In Alzheimer's disease, 10 to 15 years before the appearance of the symptoms, two main lesions form in the brain, synaplex, composed of amyloid beta protein, and neurofibrillary tangles composed of tau protein. How's the signal plaque formed? On the surface of the neuron is a large protein called APP. Normally, APP is sectioned by enzymes on the surface of a neuron and it frees a protein called amyloid beta. The amyloid beta protein is then cleared in the body. In the case of Alzheimer's disease, there is an imbalance, the amyloid beta protein is no longer regulated and is found in too too greater quantity. The proteins assemble to form an insoluble fat that creates synaplex. plaques. How are neurofibrillary tangles formed? When a neuron communicates with another, a signal goes from the body known as soma to the synapse to transfer the information. The signal passes through the skeleton of a neuron composed of microtubules. These microtubules are stabilized by normal tau protein. In Alzheimer's disease, tau protein becomes defective and attaches from the microtubules. Thus, the skeleton of the neuron dissociates as it is no longer maintained. Defective tau proteins then assemble to form filaments in a neuron. Without the skeleton, the neurons degenerate and connections between the neurons are lost. The abnormal accumulation of tau filaments in a neuron creates neurofibrillary tangles and eventually causes the death of the neuron. How are the two lesions spread throughout the brain? Neurofibrillary tangles and synaplex do not follow the same pathway in the brain over time. Neurofibrillary tangles first develop in a region called the happy complex, which is essential to memory and learning. They then reach the whole brain following a centrifugal movement. The process cause atrophy which hinders global cognitive functioning. The progress of the lesions corresponds with the symptoms of the disease which begin with memory problems followed by problems of language, recognition and incapacity to perform gestures. Senaplex develop differently. They are initially observed in the cortex secondly in the happy complex, and then the synaplex reach the whole brain following a centripetal movement. Their progression does not correspond to the symptoms of the disease. But numerous questions remain unanswered. We know that the presence of the two cerebral lesions is necessary to develop Alzheimer's disease since one does not come with the other, but which lesion comes first? Neurofibrillary tango or senile plague, the answer is still under debate.